past week, and somebody asked a question about you, and he said, oh, Joe's done a great job. When he first came in, he might not have been the most charming guy in the world. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean by that? Uh, I don't know. I, I hadn't really adapted yet, I guess you'd say. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, we're, we're good now. What was that? Like, you just came in, was kind of quiet, standoffish. How would you describe yourself uh, back then? Probably all that, yeah. <laughs> did y'all have any dust-ups? Did y'all have any memorable moments? Uh, not really, no. Just kind of. Did our own thing. <laughs> Is that part of just being a punter? Punter punters are sort of no, punters and kickers are sort of known for being a little quirky. Guys. Yeah. Is, Is that accurate? I, I reckon so. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anything I mean uh, you like to do to kind of keep guys off the off balance a little bit? You can crack jokes with them. Or like yeah. I'm, oh, I'm a big jokester. Yeah. So. Give me an example. I just kind of pull it out. You know, pull it out when it comes out. If it pops in my head, I'll do it. <laughs> what's the, what's, what's the Funniest thing you've done, or strangest that you can tell us. That you can well, see. I'm sure back in the day y'all saw that uh, the old specialist video, Which the specialist music video, we're, old. We're, oh. we're we're Fry and Drew Williams and all them. We did that. Yeah. yeah. I think that was that was a very memorable moment right there. Did you guys do that? Like, I mean, I'm sure you didn't ask anybody before you did it, right? Oh uh, no, we did not ask anybody. <laughs> so when it ran, what did all the coaches say? Um, <laughs> they kind of they had they or they said some stuff, but I mean, it wasn't too bad. Uh, how did, how, what caused you to take a step up in the way you played? Was um, there something specific, specific or just gradual work at it? I'd gradually work at it and just being more mature, I guess. But How yeah. does that translate? Just practicing more? Practicing more, being more consistent, um, just learning from others. How did you feel you punted Saturday? You hit some booming kicks. I, I feel like I punted pretty well. Um, could have put more hang on them. Yeah. How, how does a punter – you want to get into the game and show what you can do, but that's generally not a good thing. Right. right. How, how do you mentally handle that? How do you approach that? You want to get in the game or you not want to get on the game? How do you? I always want to get a couple, you know, but um, nah, it's team first, so but it is what it is. What you take on all these Australian guys coming over? The Australian punter is kind of a kind of thing now, do you? Um, not really. I mean, I, I really don't care. There's, there's no rivalry? There's no not really. I'm just going to keep doing my job, you know. <laughs> Go out there and bomb him. What's this? Uh, took a took a knee to the face. When uh, did that happen? Uh, over camp. Oh really? Uh, who was so. who owned the knee? Uh, another teammate. We, we, were, we were messing around. In practice? No. Nah. <laughs> did you have to get a few stitches here? Uh, I had a couple. Yeah, four. <laughs> I don't know if you got credit for it or not, but you almost made a tackle. <laughs> oh yeah. I mean, I, I feel like I made half a tackle, you know. But what, what is that like for? As a punter to go in to make a tackle, is that nerve wracking or is that I something really, you? I really love it. I like it. Why? Lowering the shoulder, man. So you like to hit people? I do. Okay. Did you play another position in high school or? Uh, no, I did not. I usually Always just kicker. Been a punter. Kick, punter, kicker. How many tackles would you say you've made over your career? Not many. Maybe like three. Yeah. Did you play soccer? Uh, growing up, like probably nine years. Oh. Never in high school. Though, never. I was going to say, does the soccer background inform a little bit of tackling? I mean, obviously not as physical a sport, but. Yeah, no, probably not, no. <laughs> Joe, looking at this game, obviously there's a lot of, I mean, it's social media and people talk all that, but do you guys feel like you're playing for Coach Mushingham's job this Saturday? Uh, No, not at all. Coach Mushingham's a great coach. I mean, I don't really go on the social media and look at what everyone says about him, but, I mean, I think he's one of the best coaches I've played under. Is it and, easy um, to tune out all that outside noise? Oh, yeah. I don't really listen to it, so. Do you have aspirations of playing in the NFL? Yes, sir. Do you feel like you're in a good spot to do that? Have you heard anything? Talk about what you know where you stand? You expect to get opportunities? Um, I mean, I hope so. I mean, I'm kind of, kind of right now just focusing on the team, though, and um, we'll see, where, see where it takes me. How much do you guys focus on hang time versus coach just saying let it rip and let you get out there and get um, as far as you can? Kind of just depends on the situation we're in. Like, I mean, if you're pooching it, if your ball's on the 50 and I'm hitting a pooch punt inside the five-yard line, I mean, I'm going to put some hang on it to give my gunners time to get down there. But, um, what's, yeah. What's most satisfying, but booming a 60, 70-yarder or dropping one inside the five? Probably a 70-yarder. <laughs> that's tough. That's de- yeah, you just see that ball fly and you, just, you know you ripped it. Is that like hitting a good drive in golf? <laughs> yeah, exactly. You play golf? Every now and then. Not the best. <laughs> okay. Right. How many stitches did that take to close? About four. Yeah. Anything else? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.